A great display of the love for the beautiful game. Spectators and supporters turn out in large numbers to witness a memorable final. This encounter has all that is expected of a football final. From a highly decorated VIP section to a massive turnout enlivened with an unending ambience and fan fiesta. The display by Zurich and Pondingto was as exciting as the cooler produced by a lively crowd. Knowing they were chasing their first title in Yundum football, Pondinto tried to force issues in the initial proceeding. But Zurich, despite exposure, kept their cool and became the first side to threaten as they forced Pondinto's goalkeeper into a save. Zurich will continue to keep the Pondinto goalkeeper busy with their quick attacking football. And ultimately, with a minute before the break, Zurich finally got rewarded for their dominance when Suleiman Jalo found the breakthrough goal, sending supporters into a static jubilation. It was clearly the moment they were waiting for. Both sides returned from the break determined to win with performances that kept up the game momentous excitement. Desperate for a leveler, Pondinto continued to search for a breakthrough, keeping Zurich under constant pressure in the last 10 minutes. When they came close, but Alaji Chor missed what was going to be a leveler. Pondinto will come close again in a moment of near brilliance that left their supporters roaring for the missed chance with a minute left of normal time. And again in stoppage time, they will miss another chance to level up with a last minute waster that sealed an unlucky evening for them, as Zurich went on to successfully defend their crown. Both Pondinto and Zurich are good teams. If you look at Zurich, they are unbeaten since last season. I am happy with my players. It's not easy to stay unbeaten and win trophies for two seasons. We, we created more than four or five chances in, the, in, the, in, in less than 10 uh, 20 minutes. So I, I, I was thinking we could take only one from that, those chances, but we, we could not take our chances. Local football administrators in New Yundum used the opportunity to call for support as they worked towards helping the youths of Yundum to have playable grounds. I wish I have the financial ability or the opportunity. I will transform this field to a, field, um, a stadium. That's my target. The pledges we have here is very good, but it's not something that I can say can solve our problem right now. We are not going to any sporting activities for now, but we wanted to make sure that we, we develop the infrastructure, that's the football field, then thereafter we can have a perpetual football ongoing so that there will be no stop throughout. Awards were presented to individuals for their contributions in the development of sports in the community which is fast becoming a footballing hub, attracting scores of young talents. As runners-up, Pondinto received a consolation prize of $20,000. And among the decorations of the champions, Zurich FC was a set of football jerseys and winner's prize of $30,000. Farmer Abaj, GRTS News.